Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a chit chat get ready with me. Um, I don't do these often. I only done two, I think, and they were with my brother because I'm not, like I said before, I like a huge talker. So I want to just try this by myself and see how I like it. It's a lot of things I wanted to get off my chest and I just needed something new for my channel. So I decided to do a chit chat get ready with me. So if you're interested in Hear what I got to say and watch me do my makeup and keep on watching. Okay, I already done my brows off camera because it takes so long to do them. Most days I like clean them off and have to redo them like three or four times. So I just did them off camera. I only did it, did them once today and they turned out good. So I'm going to get started with the eyes. Where's my primer? So if you haven't already, go check out my latest videos. I uploaded makeup videos um, on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, today is Monday, September 19th. Um, I really like the looks that I did. So you should go check them out. Like and comment that stuff saying that it's been like over a year since i had my youtube channel um it's been like i think it made a year in may i had did a video and i took it down because it was like filmed on my ipad and everything i just want to try it out but i ended up uploading more videos and like june and stuff and i got this canon june 1st so that like motivated me to record a lot and i did so yeah i was like super excited about my channel i would do makeup videos and, like and um upload all in the same day and i like I'll be honest, I do feel like I have slow progress. Like, I'm at, like, 408 subscribers. It was 411, but you know how that goes. Um, I did think I would have more around this time, but, I mean, everybody doesn't, you know, succeed overnight or have, you know. So, like, in the beginning, I thought sub... Sub for sub was something, you know, that was good or whatever, but now I see that it isn't like people will be like, they sliding your DMs like, hey, let's sub for sub, and then you think you're going to have a subscriber and a supporter when they're really there to get their numbers up, and then they're going to unsubscribe and or just never watch your videos again. And I um, stopped doing that. Because there'll be people that I didn't even have anything in common with. People that I knew I wouldn't, like, watch their videos. And people that I knew wouldn't watch mine. This is a lot of, like, fake support out there. So, watch out for that if you um, just started with YouTube or thinking about it. Then another thing is that was discouraging is that um, the lack of support that I get from friends and family. Like, I don't, I guarantee you not one of my friends watch my videos. Or one of my closest family members. It's sad, but it's true. I don't know what look, what color I'm going to do on my leg. Love letter, I usually always do that. From the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. But, like I was saying, you'd be shocked how many people don't support me. You think you... I have genuine friends or whatever but I'll be honest like I don't really have friends anymore like they it's true when you graduate high school and you don't really have friends <laughs> even the people that I was closest to in high school and I thought that we would always be friends we're not even friends and it's not even because of me I'm just gonna put that out there like I've always been a good friend to everybody, like sometimes more of a friend to people than they have been to me. People take advantage of that and then when they don't have your best interests in mind or at heart, then 
once you start succeeding or you know being happy then they want to just you know get envious and jealous and just distance themselves as if you've done something to them instead of you know I don't know y'all know what I'm trying to say it's not coming out right but experienced that with a lot of people like during their lowest times I would be there supporting them motivating them then as soon as they're happy again or back to where they you know want to be in life then they just move on like like you've done something to them I was just there to help but when I need a shoulder to lean on or somebody to vent to nobody's there so I just stopped reaching out to people. I stopped being the one that texts first. Like if we don't talk, we don't talk. I'm not losing no sleep. To be like, well, not like so much like concern, but I, you know, you scratch my mind a lot. Like, why are we friends? Anymore? Oh, his video. Yeah. Yeah. He was. People say he should have stayed out of it. He better quit. Butter pecan from the chocolate bar. Sit me sleep, thingy. This is my go-to palette. Um, like last year I made a video. It was like one of my um, one of my first videos to get like over a hundred views and a bunch of likes because it was new around the time. And then tell me why they just gonna send me an email talking about some copyright. And it was like a year later. Like really, YouTube. crazy but I've been getting out a lot lately with some older videos they would email me be like um copyright issues or whatever I'd be like so mad this is the video so old I just go and remove the song I don't even try to replace it so if y'all go see any of my old videos some of them are just silent and that's because I don't have time for YouTube to be trying to edit a video a year old video so that it can be monetized. I just delete the song from it. I haven't put this Modern Renaissance palette down since I got it. Like, low key replaced the semi sweet chocolate bar. I feel like it's like perfect for me. Like, with the neutrals and the pinks and transition shades, the brow bone shades, highlighting shades. Like, this palette has everything. If you don't have it, you should get it. I'm about to go damp my sponges and start on my face thinking about doing a blue glitter um i saw a picture on instagram i think i screenshot i was gonna do a blue glitter eye and blue glitter lip and i was like maybe that's for a tutorial you know it's not super for a chit chat get ready with me so i'm just proud with this um is this revlon oh. primer or whatever it's similar to the Maybelline Baby Skin. I love it. And back to the lack of support. Like I have family that will share somebody's link or video. Like support. They'd be like so quick to support somebody. And not you. I'm like, that's backwards. The whole talking and doing makeup at the same time. It's kind of difficult. Like I didn't really think it would be. And I'm taking my makeup forever foundation i need to mix with some sometimes it's too light sometimes it's perfect and i don't want to use it all right this is like a high-end foundation this is my second bottle like obviously i love it and i'm gonna mix it with the uh, pro glow infallible foundation this is 212 I have 211 too and I usually mix 212 and 211 together because 211 can look too light sometimes and 212 is see look it's orange can be too orange but I like I like my melanin I hate when a, a foundation you think it's your color, but it makes you look lighter. Like, I'd rather be, you know, bronzed up and, you know, and all that. And my neck is way lighter than my face, so that doesn't help at all. I have a lot of family members that 
I know, for that. And I don't let it phase me. It is, like, sadness. Because, like, I'm one of those people that would support you. Like, I love seeing people succeed in, like, no matter who you are. Like, I like to support people. And then, you know, you don't get that in return. It's like, wow. But, like, the friend thing, it doesn't, like, bother me too much because I'm not a very social person like I like my alone time I'm an introvert like I enjoy being by myself but you know it doesn't hurt to have friends and people to hang out with and have fun with and sometimes I regret being an introvert like especially in college I went to Eastern Michigan University it's like two hours away from my hometown or whatever and I only knew like one person there. I only made like really like one friend. And I regret, you know, not being social. Like I did go to events and stuff, but I didn't really network and make any friends like I should have. I like stayed in my dorm room. Like my freshman year especially, like oh no, it was just different. Um, and then like if you don't know I came back home like I think October of last year during my sophomore year because I was just unhappy there like I was miserable I hated having a roommate and it was just horrible and then the dorms were even smaller sophomore year like like I said, I'm an introvert. I'm a private person, so having a roommate just wasn't getting it. The pal, I'm looking. The blend his forehead out. Oh my goodness, see, this is what I've been talking about. Like, I haven't mastered the art of lighting. Like, in my most recent video, the pink glitter cut crease, I deleted like a lot of the footage from me applying foundation because it was looking like this. And I thought, like, people are going to think I don't know what I'm doing. They're going to think I'm looking like a ghost. But in person it looks good. I'm telling y'all, like, it's just, I don't know exactly what it is. I really want to get some studio lighting and stuff and upgrade my quality. My video quality. And I'm adding a lighter concealer. Because I like my under eye highlight to be, like, bright. And so much better doing my makeup that I'm a lot quicker now. No, and like with the friend thing again, I just it would be nice to have somebody who you could do makeup on and with my sister hates makeup. I have to beg her during makeup and even then most times she says no. My best friend doesn't really like makeup like that, but she will if I let her, but she's always so busy. And so, and I really want to have clients this year for like prom and homecoming. Last year for prom, I only had one client. It was this girl I knew, like, but a lot of people don't know that I do makeup and I have to start promoting myself and putting myself out there. But... It's a lot of people that you know I do makeup and then like I don't know if it's just me or what but a lot of my classmates I wouldn't say friends I'll just say classmates but it seemed like they've been throwing shade to makeup whatever and I seem like I don't know I think people been talking about makeup but I don't know with me it just seems like it's been you know more talked about now that I wear and I feel like it's direct like well indirect shade like i don't know i just feel like they're always talking about me because you usually don't see people talking about makeup until you start wearing it. like oh my goodness you didn't you wouldn't think you had all these haters or makeup haters and like like if my contour ain't bothering you like <laughs> like you shouldn't have nothing to say about my face or what i put on my face like my highlight isn't hindering you in any way like I just don't get it my makeup isn't gonna pay your bills or stop your bills from being paid so why do you have so much to say you know like you always have some people you just like shut up shut up like if 
I'm too nice because if I was bold, people, they wouldn't like me. I'm dead serious because it's so much that I be wanting to say. But I'm like, no, nah, it's not even worth the, the drama, the headache. And some people do that to get a reaction out of you. So you don't even give people that satisfaction. You know, I'm, I've never been in altercation, really. I don't get into drama, so pretty much stay to myself, so. I'm just I'm going through a phase where I'm trying to find peace within myself. Like, I'm spending more time with myself. I'm educating myself. I'm getting to know who I am as a person. What are my specific goals and aspirations in life? So I don't have time for the nonsense, like... This alone time has been amazing. I've been reading more. Oh, I forgot to bake oh, for a little bit. And I'm using my Airspun Translucent Powder Mix with my banana, Benai Banana Powder. I haven't used this banana powder in so long. I just recently pulled it out. I'm usually too impatient to bake, but we'll see if I bake today. I'm gonna bake them some little tip for a little bit longer or not bake too long. I mean And I want this video to be over 20 minutes. Oh and I saw the problem to my camera um stopping like while recording. I just got two new memory cards and they're like the Ultra Plus. Another one isn't, so I think maybe that's why maybe it wasn't quality enough or I mean high quality enough for this camera. Normally I would just set the powder away, but on Keisha Kaylee's chit chat get ready with me. I seen her like just spray her sponge and damp the powder in there. And I've been trying that for the past few days and it's been working. I like the finish of it. Like I don't look powdery or anything. So I think it's better to just pat it in instead of dusting it away. Having it sitting on top of your skin. Like I think this helps it absorb into your skin and make it look more natural. And look at this sponge. This is the first beauty real technique sponge I got and it's horrible. And party will um, this light powder from the Tarte and Makeup Shayla contour palette like this powder. And I like how it smells. <laughs> I use this blush, not from the palette, but one that I got from Five Below. It comes in a it. Profusion. It's a drugstore brand or dollar store brand or whatever but I like this one it's so corally and pigmented I like a lot of blush at first I used to be scared of blush but it brings so much color and warmth to your face don't worry about that I'm gonna fix that I see it I see it for the bottom area so fast got to put this on like this is a um highlighter stick usually after i prime my face i put this all up to give me that extra glow i still can i'll blend it in later got this little mark jacobs eyeliner from sephora it comes with the lipstick for your birthday gift so yeah and i have two of these don't ask how i got two but Oh, well, let me clarify that. I didn't steal it, no. I just went to two different Sephora's and they want to give me a birthday gift, so I accept it. I love it. I feel like I'm so incomplete with the eyeliner. Like, when I don't wear makeup, I still have to put on a little eyeliner or something. Makeup 
over that with these highlighter shades from this Tarte palette. I love highlighting now. Like some girls think they be doing makeup and they only put on foundation. Like not, nah, well, if you ain't got no highlight, you ain't pop. Funny to think that once upon a time I only wore foundation. Like and I thought, <laughs> thought I was doing something. Thank God for YouTube. It taught me everything. It'd be nice if I could listen to some music. It'd be even nicer if YouTube was so petty about the copyrights. Maybe it's not YouTube. Maybe it's just the people, the owners of the songs. But I love YouTube. Like, ever since I started doing videos, I haven't been able to stop. Like, it's become a part of me. And, you know, when I first started, I was just do makeup tutorials and, like, mute it, fast forward, and play some music. But, you know, being that I'm so shy, but now I'm more comfortable with speaking to clear up some space. But yeah, like I was saying, it's become, you know, part of part of me. It's a passion now. I really enjoy making videos, no matter if I get positive feedback or negative feedback. If I get likes, comments, a lot of them are if I don't. Like, it's nice, but still, I do this for me. As much as I like to teach you all something, but it's because I enjoy doing it. This is only, wait, no, it wasn't a dollar. I think it was like four dollars. It was from Five Below, the Wet n Wild palette. I mean, highlighting palette thingy. And it has like these rosy pinks. Like, I love it. Like, it's, it's good. especially. And then it's inexpensive. Like, you can't beat that. And as y'all can see, I'm ODing on the highlight. If anybody tell you you have too much highlight, like you need to get rid of them. You don't need that kind of negativity in your life, okay? Like I'm serious. There's never too much highlight. If somebody who looks like a glazed donut, let them because they are slaying, okay? <laughs> I got this from Forever 21. It's like a bronzer goldish highlight. And it expires September 2016 and it's September like and I don't want to throw it away like is that with this harming anyway for keeping it just a little bit longer like I've been neglecting it like for a while I just had it packed up and wasn't using it and when I do decide to pull it out it's expired maybe I should just have a look at it like I need that goldish I like undertone thingy in my life like I guess I just have to get another one. But y'all can start seeing my smile lines coming through, messing up my makeup. I don't see how people just pop them on and just go on about their day. Like, I struggle. That's why you never see me put on lashes in a video. Because it takes about 20 minutes. The Calvin Klein mascara. I got this, like, last year, maybe two years ago. From Alta as a birthday gift. Now I know they say mascara expires within six months. Is that true? Because I'm not getting rid of this. I don't care. I'm not getting rid of it. My eyelashes haven't fallen off yet. So. Like if I was to ever. Well. There's something I want to do. I'm going to say I am going to do. When I come up with my cosmetic line. I'm going to be sure to have some bomb mascara. Because. There are people. That struggle putting on lashes like myself. And there are people that, you know, don't like lashes and for have mascara. Did y'all watch Power last night? It was good. I'm just so confused now. I just hope Tommy and, and Ghost don't betray each other. Like, they're, I love their, like, friendship. So I'm going to be so hurt that they betray one another and I really want Ghost and Tasha to get back together like Ghost gotta get it together but yeah they should I'm like so excited that they got the green light for season 4 and 5 but I know next week the season 3 finale I'm gonna be so sad like what am I gonna do with my life for a year until it comes back on yeah that's what I'm gonna do mm -hmm. Popping, popping palette. You'll like y'all go to palette that has every shade you need. Let me know.
can believe this coming to an end. This was fun. Hmm. This was really, really fun. Okay, I was using the e.l.f. Okay. setting spray and then I got the Urban Decay All Nighter and like I don't want to use another setting spray again. Like I just want to get a shot give a shout out to Gina. Um her YouTube name is Glamour G. She's very talented. She doesn't have any videos up yet, but she's working on it. She's been one of my biggest supporters since day one. I'm just thankful for people like her. And like I said, you'd be surprised by who supports you and who don't. Like she's been my biggest supporter. I will honestly say she supported me more than family, friends, close friends, close family, and everything. So thank you so much. You are amazing. Lippy products. This one isn't even all over. I should do a lip lippy collection video. I don't know. See this food cake. I love that. Lippy. And I haven't put any product in this way. If you want the details, you can find it in my video. Okay, so that was the end of my chit chat get ready with me video um i tried to make it as interesting as possible you know how you plan something out and have in mind what you're going to talk about then when it's like that time it slips your mind yeah that happened a lot but i did try to talk about as much as thing as much as much as i can of the things that were on my mind so if you enjoyed this video um give me a thumbs up and let me know if y'all want to see more of these videos and what topics you would like me to um touch on and this is the final look i hope you like the discussion and the look so yeah give me a thumbs up if you think i deserve it see y'all next time